Hatfield single shot 410 shotguns. That first one up top was $99 at the Walmart. The new one, same exact gun, 410 single shot. But now Walmart charges $130. Went up $30 in a matter of like 60 days maybe. Ridiculous. Anyhow guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Check it out. Uh, like I say, the, the first one I bought, paid $99 for at the Walmart. The second one was uh, $130. Uh, like everything else, everything's going up in price. Uh, but you're not getting anything different for it. So, Alright guys, hope you liked the video. Check it out. Later. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, we got another unboxing video for you. Um, as you can see, it's a Hatfield again. Um, so, I actually already have one of these... Uh, uh, shotguns um, you can actually see it up above there it's uh, what it is is it's the Hatfield uh, single shot 410 um, I do have you know that one obviously I purchased the second one today to uh, I have a second one just so when I take the kids out they each can have their own one just try to teach them you know the overall gun safety without having to keep swapping it back and forth uh, the 410 doesn't have a whole lot of kickback, so it's it's nice for them. And, uh, you know, they've uh, been showing some interest about going turkey hunting. And uh, I like the fact that it's a single shot. You know, again, 410, so it's not got a ton of kickback on them. So if I do take them uh, turkey hunting this year, they'll be able to, you know, handle this one. The only downside to it is it's got kind of a long barrel they do make a, a youth version of this. From what I could tell, the only difference is is the stock is actually shorter. So I'm going to actually see if I could buy the stock that's shorter for the youth model to put on this. I was not able to find anyone that was selling it in the youth model. But uh, this is the unboxing of it. Alright, so put the uh, shotgun right there. Uh, in the box, all you're going to get is your directions. Uh, it gives you that little Allen key right there. What the Allen key is for is to take that trigger guard off. Alright, let me unpackage it. Alright, that's it right there. So uh, it looks like it's got a slightly darker stock than the one above it. Stock is uh is definitely nice. This is the SGL model. And this is a brake barrel. Okay, let me open it up so show you. So what you're gonna do to open it up, you're gonna pull back on that trigger guard right there. And as you can see it is not loaded. So what's cool with these is they do fold up, you know, they do fold up almost, you know, completely in half. There's a bunch of videos out there where people show you how to, how to shave this down a little bit. And uh, I believe you trim this down a little bit and then a lot of people cut the barrel down so that when, when it folds up, it folds up so that the barrel's touching this and it makes for a nice little backpack gun. What's cool with these is you can buy the gun adapters for them and shoot, you know, anything from a 22 LR, you know, all the way up to the 410. So uh, let me take this uh, trigger guard off and I'm going to show it to you. All right. So I took that trigger guard off. Uh, it's comes with that little plastic. It's just a little Allen key. 
Again, it's a um, Hatfield uh, Turkey Gun SGL 410 bore. It's got the modified um, uh, bore end. It does not have removable chokes in it, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but that's all right. So let's look at it right there. So the length of pull with this particular model, you got, looks like one foot, two inches roughly. A little, little less than one foot, two inches. And the overall length of this, the overall length is three feet eight inches so 44 inches and the barrel length for it I believe it's got a 28 uh, looks like 24 25 inch barrel it looks like right there it's so it's 24, just about 25 inch barrel right there. So, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, it does have the cross bolt safety on it right here. That's your cross bolt safety. Oh. <laughs> I dropped my tape measure. Alright, so right there's your cross bolt safety. Like I say, to crack it open, you pull back on this trigger guard right here, and it will drop. And right there is it fully closed. I'm trying to do it one-handed, so I apologize, but right there you can see. All right. Right there. And right here is a, a good view of, you can see the trigger guard going back. It is very... Right there, you can see it. It is very tight. Uh, and it closes, you just shut the barrel. Like that. Again, guys, I apologize trying to do this one handed. So, uh, yeah, not bad. Not a whole lot to say about it, but it's. Uh, it's definitely a uh, nice little single shot 410 shotgun. So if you guys have any, feel free to let me know and uh, definitely try to answer them. I do have another review of the, this gun uh, with the other one I have, um, you know, in my channel, I don't know, a couple months back. And like I said, I picked up a second one so that, you know, I could have one for each of the kids when I take them out, you know, turkey hunting later this year and, and just to try to teach them gun safety and, you know, this way I could teach them how to carry it properly, and, and they each are going to have their own to be able to, to carry. So, um, again, teach your kids gun safety. It's very important. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Hit that like and subscribe. I definitely appreciate everybody that's subscribing and staying subscribed. Uh, just like everybody else, we, we gain a few and then we lose a few. So uh, I definitely appreciate everybody that's staying subscribed and uh, watching us. If there's anything that you guys think I could do better, let me know. Um, and if there's uh, you know anything you guys would like to see, let me know. So uh, until next time, take care of yourselves. God bless, and uh, I'll see you later. Take care now.